Okay, guys, I am making this video because I am super excited about something I just figured out, and I cannot believe that it took me this long to figure this out. If you recognize this uh, this kitchen, it's because it's my background, but it's also because you saw uh, a video uh, recently that I had posted about uh, basically just kind of making making the best of your making the best of your renderings. Um, and one of the things that I mentioned on there um, is if you don't have access or you don't use other uh, catalogs other than the generic basic catalogs, sample catalogs that they have in 2020, uh, it's really annoying how their 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 version of white white <laughs> is this gray, and how you know basically you can't do anything with it, uh, even though it shows when you look at the texture, it says it's white white, and it looks like it's white white on the texture when you put it on the cabinet. It's not. So, I figured out how to make it white, guys. And I'm excited. I'm really excited. And like I said, I'm, I'm just baffled at the fact that I did not figure this out before. This should be the same color as this. You can tell this is not the same color as this. This is gray. And it has the potential to look like such a clean, nice, crisp kitchen. And it's just losing some of that because of that gray. And I'm going to show you now how you do it. And I am just... Uh, I am just astounded that I did not figure this out before. All right, so let's go into one of my drawings here um, because this one I have not changed yet, but I'm going to be because I just sold this and I need to make it pretty. So as you can see here, it has a lot of potential to look like a beautiful kitchen. However, it's all gray. It's supposed to be white, and I don't want to do that. So this is what you're going to want to do. I'm going to actually exit out of that. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is, because normally what I do is to, to choose the color and the and the, the, the styles and all that, I go to style and pricing, I go down to my sample, and I choose door style, and I choose the white thermofoil, which the white thermofoil looks like it's white, white, white. It's like white, super white, but it's not, as you can see. So what you actually have to do, now don't ask me why you actually have to go to this first step. Actually, yeah, let's do that. So this first step, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to samples. It says white glossy. It shows this white, but it's not that white. It looks more like that. Um, and the, the 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 best part to make it actually white white is to is to do something that's going to trick 2020 into thinking that it's going to be that color, what it's supposed to be. So it's thinking it's going to be that color. So. Um, the way you do this is, first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want, I don't know why you have to do this part, but I, I've been fooling around with this, and so far, I've, what I've noticed is that this is what you have to do. You hit Reset All, and when you hit Reset All, what it's going to do is it's going to bring back all of your basic things on, on the cabinets. Now, if you go pull your rendering back up, you'll see what I mean. It's going to be like a, a light maple color, and it's going to be a, a slab door. Um, let's just double check that. Yep, so it's just a regular maple color slab door. And uh, actually, that looks kind of cool. Um, anyway, okay, so what you're going to do here is you're going to, okay, now that we've verified that everything's cool, actually, if you even go into your styles and pricing, you'll actually notice that this is actually still all the way it was. It's, it's technically still should be all of this, but it's not. So global attributes will always trump uh, the styles and pricing. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your sample E, and we're going to pick style, and I'll pick, uh, yeah, let's pick 12, 12, or style 12, and 12. Okay, so we've got that, so we should be good there, and textures. So you have all these textures here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your, you're going to want to go into your um, everything except for you, um, here, let me go back here. Everything except for your counter, your countertop texture. And actually, I don't even know if you have to do your backsplash texture, but I'm just going to do it anyway because I know it works. It doesn't affect anything else because it's only in your sample E. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to go in here, and as you can see, um, if you go into what it actually has as the, as the color that you can choose, that would be the white white and the generic white. Even if let's go to glossy. If you go, to, this is as white as you can get. Uh, white four is as white as you can get. Now, that's what it's supposed to look like, but it's not what it looks like. So what do you do? 
you go into your user texture library. I don't know if you guys watched my last video about textures, but you can do a lot of stuff with textures, and I can't believe I didn't even think about this. I did not think that it was actually going to change things the way it did. So you're going to go, just like normal, you're going to add a new texture. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Google, and just go ahead and let's do uh, just white. So images. And you're going to choose one of these top ones. You can't actually see it. That's what you want because you don't want a border of any kind. So you just choose one of these. You, you right click on it and you save the image as whatever. And you put that in your in your images. And so then what you're going to do is you're going to go into your user texture libraries and choose that uh, option. So this is my white. So I changed that, the backsplash texture. I'm going to change the bottom molding texture. The same thing. Now it's already in this. Um, I can actually go right into my textures and current design instead of going to the user texture library now. So it's a little bit quicker. Um, and change everything that you see here that is wood or not. <laughs> and change it to your new white. Just so you guys know, I actually have not tested it out on this one. I'm hoping that I'm not going to look like an idiot here. And end up not even posting this video. But I know it worked on my other one, so it's, it's got to work. So, okay, so the toe base, so everything, you're changing everything to this other white, the true white. It's not a fake white that's going to look like garbage. Uh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, don't change your full texture. Um, shelf texture. I know this is, some of this stuff is unnecessary because it's inside the cabinets, but I just want to change everything to the same thing. Excited to see this. Do this. I'm so excited. Okay. Applying it. Good. Now let's see what this looks like. White, white. Let's see what we got. And there's a white kitchen. That is what a white kitchen is supposed to look like. Oh my god. I cannot believe it took me so long to figure this out, guys. I am such a fool such a fool this this is just going to make everything so much better <laughs> so much better um as you can see obviously in the darker areas it looks gray but you'll see if you notice here because the door is white anybody whenever you've used these doors you know that these are actually white white so whatever color this is it matches this because it's the same lighting yep so it's the same lighting. Obviously, the lighting is just bad in here. I need to fix the lighting in here. But um, either way, you know that that's matching that. So it's actually a white white. And that's what we're trying to do here. And I'm so excited about figuring this out. Let's do one more example real quick. Okay, so this one should be the same thing. This should be all gray cabinets. Okay, so yeah, these are all gray. This is a different color than this door. These are all gray. Let's see. Okay, these are yellow lights, so just forget what I said earlier about the whole lighting thing. <laughs> um, so let's do this. Let's try this out. I feel like this one's going to work. I feel like you're going to be able to see the difference a lot better in this one. So we're going to sample. Yeah, okay, so let's just reset all. Okay. So first thing we need to do is do style. Uh, Next, we're going to go back to textures, get everything, see that white. All right, so everything is set to white now. And let's see what we got. Ah, oh, bada bing, bada boom. All right, you see that? See how these are? Oh, they're white. Oh my god, I love it. I can't believe it took me so long to figure this out. 
Same color as the door. As you noticed before, this was gray, especially when you saw it next to the white door. Now we have actually got white cabinets. I'm so excited about this. So anyway, uh, there you go. I know that was a long-winded explanation, but I really wanted to show you the difference of what you get. Um, definitely like and subscribe if, this is, if you're finding these helpful. I uh, can't wait to see you guys again in the next video.